guys, it's Brianna. Welcome to my channel. Today I have an Easter get ready with me video for you, which I'm super excited to show you. So first to moisturize my face, I'm using the Neutrogena Oil-Free Moisture. And then I'm using the Maybelline Master Prime to prime my face, as you can see here. I just put dots all over, then I rub it in as good as I can. Then I'm taking the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation in shade 110, I believe. It's going so fast. <laughs> but then I just use a flat brush to put it all over my face and my Beauty Blender to blend that in. And I take a while to blend in my foundation because I want it to look as natural as possible because I don't want it to look cakey. I mean, I don't think anyone does, so. Then I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade 15, which I believe is light. Not sure, but then I just use the regular brush it comes with to put that under my eyes and on any spots. Then I use my Beauty Blender once again to blend that in. This is my favorite concealer. It has been for a long time. It was my first concealer I'm pretty sure that I ever purchased and it's just so great. The coverage is amazing and it's matching my skin pretty well now because I found the right shade. Um, yeah, it's weird because the lightest shade is actually darker than the second lightest, so I don't know how that works, but yeah, you just go with it. So I am just blending, blending, blending. I don't want to make my under eyes look dry or anything, so if that made any sense. Then I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, which everyone uses, and I'm just using a big fluffy brush from Real Techniques to put that all over my face because I get so oily, especially in my T-zones and around my nose, so I just try to put on as much as I can to try to keep me matte. And then I'm going to use a setting brush from Real Techniques, I think that's what it's called, to just set under my eyes with the same powder. And there's a smile, not so serious all the time. Then I'm using the Maybelline Master Contour and I'm going to be using the contour shade first. And I'm just going to draw a line on each of my cheekbones to outline, then I will blend it in. As I'm doing here with the Maybelline, no, uh, Real Techniques contour brush, I think. And then I'm just putting it under my jawline. And then I'm going to do duck face to show you my amazing cheekbones that are now there. Then I'm using the blush shade just pop a little bit onto my cheeks to add some color because I don't want to look too bronzed up because it is a spring Easter look. I'm just using a Real Techniques blush brush for that. Then I'm using the highlight shade and I'm using the setting brush again to just pop that onto my cheekbones and I wasn't real impressed with this at first but I think in the light you can actually see it better than I thought you'd be able to. And then I'm just putting it down my nose and on my cupid's bow. Then I'm just brushing on my eyebrows and I'm using an Ulta brow pencil to fill in my brows and I'm only showing you one because I do the exact same thing on the other and it just, it would take way too long for this video. I had a half an hour of footage to edit down, it took me an hour and a half, but I got it down to uh, just under 10 minutes, so I'm very proud of myself. Um, so yeah, I'm just filling this in, taking my time, it looks really natural with this, I really like it. Then I'm using the Maybelline Unstoppable um, Eyeliner to tight line my eye. I'm not the most attractive doing it. I know people do it other ways, but this is just the best for me. Then my eyes were watering so bad after that. Then I'm using the Naked One palette and I'm using Half Baked all over my eyelid, or Naked One, just the Naked palette. Uh, I love this color. I saw it in Tanya Burr's vlog, so I wanted to try it out. I thought it was a great spring color and gold is just great for spring and summer anyway. Then I'm using Sidecar and putting that on the outer corner of my lid and putting that in my crease as well just to add some definition. It blends really well with the gold, you can't really tell. But then I'm just blending, blending, blending. And then I'm using Sidecar, I believe. I can't see the recording thing was in the way. Um, to put that on the inner corner of my eye. Then I'm using an Ulta Brow Pencil, Brow Duo. And I'm just using the highlight shade to uh, highlight underneath my brows and on top of my brows. And I'm just using my finger to blend that in. It's not the greatest product, I definitely want to invest in them find a good highlight but then I'm using the Maybelline Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara and let me tell you this is my favorite mascara at the moment I love it so much it gives my lashes so much volume makes them look so long and it's just great to have that in one mascara I love it so much I mean the difference between mascara and no mascara is huge in my eyes as you can see quickly there then my eyes are both done then I'm taking the Ulta waterproof amp lashes mascara that I use always on my bottom lashes so it doesn't transfer to my concealer underneath my eyes. There are my eyes done. There's another smile. Now I'm singing and I was having a grand old time but I don't remember what the song was so yep. Then I'm using NYX Butter Gloss and I think it's in vanilla cream pie maybe but uh, I don't remember. It's something about vanilla and cream I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, I love I love butter glosses, and 
I just didn't want a matte lipstick because I wanted this to be kind of natural and light, so we're going with a lip gloss. And here, I am not the greatest at posing, so please excuse this, but I tried. Um, so yeah, that's the makeup done. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I had a few mistakes, but I fixed those, so that's good. Then there is my eyes up close. You can't really see the pink, but it just, I just really like it. Now there is my somewhat natural hair. It's not as curly as it normally is. I'm just combing through that because this is the part where I'm going to show you how I curl my hair. Um, so I'm using the Matrix Total Results spray as a heat protectant and I'm just spraying that on the bottom half of my hair, combing through that. And I'm singing again. And then I split my hair down the middle and the back and I'm using my Bombay 5-in-1 curling wand in the biggest barrel to curl my hair because I want these to I want this to be loose and natural. So I'm using the glove because I am so clumsy. I burn myself every time I don't and I really didn't want a burn mark on my hand for Easter or at all really. Um, so then I'm just speeding it up. I just take a little section of my hair and I put the glove back on once I get the section. And I try not to move so I don't lose the hair. It's a very tedious process, but I put the glove back on, then I bring out the wand and just wrap it around and hold it on for about 10 seconds, I think, and then just let it down and put it in the back. Then here, I've done the all underneath and one half of the top of my head, and then this is the other half. I'm just showing you what I do. If you want a video on how I curl my hair, I can definitely show you guys how I do that. Just let me know because I'd love to do that video. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm just doing. I curl away from my face, so it's not like going in on my face. And then I just split the, my bang section into two parts and just curl it, hold it on for a little less than 10 seconds, I think, because these are a little um, smaller pieces of hair. So yeah, but that's what I do to curl my hair. And then I'm just going to take my fingers and brush it through because I don't want it to be really curled. I just want it to be really loose and natural, so I just run my hair through it. And it just looks a little undone. So that's what I do for that. I really liked how it looked. I was just very happy. This I don't know if I've mentioned, but this is the first time curling my hair. I think I did, but I was really happy with how it turned out. I was like looking in the mirror a lot. And the second day curls turned out amazing as well. So then there's me posing, there's the makeup. Then on to outfits. I have two outfits because I have two Easters, one on Saturday and one on Sunday. That's why this is going up on Friday. So there's my hair, my makeup, and I'm wearing some stud earrings, some squares. Then my denim jacket is from Maurice's and I'm wearing a strapless dress from Rue 21, a little skater dress. My jean jacket is way too big for me now. I need to find a new one, but it works for now. And I love the dress. It just fits me it's so nice and I love the flower pattern because I love flowers all year round to wear so yeah and it's really light and nice and cute there's me curtsying yeah I just love this so much then for my shoes I am or my sandals I'm wearing some white flip-flop things with some flowers on the top and these are from the shoe department and I got them on sale they were like five bucks I think I don't know but they're super cute then, um, for my second outfit, I'm wearing this coral colored dress from Herbergers, I believe, and the sweater is from, I think, Delia's? I'm not exactly sure, but I think I got it from Delia's before they went out of business and came back, so I'm pretty sure they don't have it now. Um, I was a little unsure about this dress. I wasn't sure if I liked it, but I put this together, and then I was watching the video back when I was editing it, and I was like, you know what? I actually really like this dress. I like the buckle. And then for my shoes, I'm pretty sure these are from Aeropostale. They're just some sandals with gold wrap around the ankle. And on the front, they have a strap that is the same brown as my belt, so that kind of matches very nicely. I, sorry, I don't like my feet, but does anyone? So that's all, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and let me know your favorite outfit, and I will see you next time. Bye!